Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a DNG image sequence into a high speed video. I'm going to be using the Adobe suite of software, Creative Cloud, uh, but specifically the programs Adobe Bridge, Photoshop and Premiere Pro. I'm going to navigate to Bridge and in there find my folder with my DNG image sequence. I'm going to select all of them and then open them in Camera Raw. So this is included with Photoshop. Now once they're in RAW, I can adjust the uh, settings. The DNG format allows me to really um, adjust those images to exactly what I want. I've got a few presets here from previous analyses I've done. So I'm going to load one of those. Now when I go to save the images, I'm going to rename them all into an image sequence that I can then load into Premiere Pro and it will recognize as an image sequence and load it as a high speed video, loading each image as a frame. Select it there and make sure my image sequence begins at 001. So I'm renaming and we'll just fast forward this bit as Camera Raw saves and renames every image in my sequence. Once that is finished, we can then click done and head back to Bridge and we're actually finished there as well. So just going into Windows Explorer, double checking that all my files have written out and there they are. Okay, now we're going to go into Premiere Pro start a new project and just use the default settings for today. Once in here, right click import, there's a few different methods to import, but that's one of them. Navigate to my folder, here's the one I was working on previously, so it's quite quick for me to navigate in there. Select uh, the first image in the sequence, and click image sequence checkbox down the bottom there and import. And it will import that as a single file is quite handy. I'm just going to adjust the speed here because it imports every image as a frame. It, you might need to play with the speed of the playback to get the effect that you want. Now I'm going to export my video. Encoding. And then finally, here we are, finished product. And there we have it. Thanks for listening today. And if you have any requests for what you'd like to see in a tutorial, please get in touch.